hopefully here, even though we're chilly this morning, we will be on the up. Uh, upward trend here as we go through uh, the next couple of days. 34 Carmel clear uh, right now, and that should lead to a lot of sunshine when we hit that 7 o'clock hour uh, later on today. Right now, 32 at the airport. Winds are out of the west at 6. Those have eased up a lot, and we shouldn't have any issues with winds here throughout the majority of the day today. Now, it's still enough and we're cold enough that the chills have slipped into the mid-20s, so there is a bite in the air, and you know that. Uh, believe it or not, uh, even though it was a struggle, finally, we did get to 52 at some point during the day yesterday, although we spent a vast majority of the morning in the 30s and barely made it to the 40s for a good chunk of the afternoon with the gray conditions and the rain and the snow. But we did make it back to the 50s, still well below average. Normal high should be into the mid-60s for this time of year. Now upper 20s and lower 30s. For most of the state, you're a little better off down in southern Indiana, lower 40s. So frost, pretty much widespread across uh, the majority of the state here for this morning. No weather issues for the ride into work uh, this morning. Should be good. Clear sky, mid-30s. I think we see a good deal of sunshine as we roll through that 7 and 8 o'clock hour. Storm tracker, clean sweep. No major problems. We'll zoom out that low that brought us all the mess yesterday. The wind, the snow and rain, and the cold. That is now working into Canada, so we're not getting that big push coming down from Canada anymore. So now what we're focusing in on is this ridge of high pressure coming off the Gulf Coast. And we're on the uh, back end of that. That means we're going to get more of a southerly flow. You're seeing the warmer temperatures here, the warmer airflow sneaking into the central plains and the western Midwest, just west of the Mississippi River. So we'll start tapping into this as we go later into the day and then especially over the next couple of days. We're back to near normal today. Uh, sunshine, 63, should be a very quiet day. And tonight, cool, but not as cold. No frost expected with a clear sky. 43 for the wake-up call for tomorrow. Look at the bounce back here. Wednesday, mid and upper 70s, probably some 80s on the way down in southern Indiana. And I think we probably will get to the 80s here in Indianapolis for Thursday. But you could see some changes happening back to the west. You got some 70s out toward the Quad Cities and Illinois, maybe a little bit cooler when you cross over the Mississippi River. So we've got another cold front that's going to be marching our way late week. It will bring more activity in terms of rain chances. Uh, as early as Thursday night, rolling into Friday morning, that's going to come with a cold front. There could be a few stronger storms. We'll watch for that. Friday, Friday night into Saturday, we're going to have a secondary system going to come in. And so what's going to end up happening when you get some of these waves, it will bring just shots of slightly cooler air, but so much so, but by the weekend, we're probably going to be talking about pretty chilly conditions. May get some hefty rainfall over the next seven days. Our projections are going anywhere between one to two plus inches of rainfall. Pretty decent nose or swath here from Indy all the way down to western Kentucky and western Tennessee down toward Memphis. So we will watch that. Again, that's only going to happen in a couple of days span. You can see those temperatures then really taking a hit in the wake of that system. 65 Friday and it appears now 50s on the way for the weekend. In addition to the cool down and the rain, it's probably going to be pretty breezy as well Saturday with this wound up system moving through. Sunday barely making out of the 40s. Should bounce back a little bit early next week. 58 for sunshine on Monday and back to the lower 60s for Tuesday of next week.